several interesting things about this eclipse coming up on April 8th. It is in the constellation Pisces, just above Cetus the whale. We got the whale and the fish reminding us of Jonah being swallowed. And this is a Jonah eclipse. This eclipse X is out America. And where does it start? It starts in Eagle Pass. And Eagle represents America. That is the uh, place of border crisis, but it's also the symbol of America. We know there was a total solar eclipse over Nineveh in 763 BC, which may have affected uh, their repentance at the time of the preaching of Jonah. This eclipse, according to eclipse2024.org, this eclipse uh, crosses Rapture, Indiana in totality. Hallelujah. Just that is beautiful. It, does it X out the USA? It looks like it does. And it's uh, it's the ninth total solar eclipse. Now, this is information from Brother Aaron and others, but it is interesting uh, that the nine of Nineveh, that is uh, interesting. The two eclipses that are total solar eclipse along with the annual solar eclipse form an Aleph, Aleph and a Tav, which is the first and the last letter of the Hebrew alphabet. It's like the Alpha and Omega, which is Greek, but this is Aleph and Tav, which is Hebrew. That is interesting. That is interesting. So the Aleph is the, the uh, Phoenician form there of the letter, the ancient form, and the, the X is a Tav, the ancient Tav. It's the Hebrew sign of God, the end, the end, and the cross. It's interesting. And um, the uh, date of the eclipse being, along with the other eclipses in 2024, being similar to the eclipses that happened in 479 B.C., which is very uh, similar to Esther, the, the original Esther story, and uh, Brother Jared's been looking at for the Esther a rapture, uh, as Esther was the bride that was hidden. She hidden her identity was hidden. And today, the the identity of the uh, Christian community being in truly in Christ, those who have been born again are in Christ. Their identity as being people of God may be actually hidden from the uh, Jewish people in a way. So, uh, but. Um, However, we look at that. But the date, April 8th, is also interesting. It is the last day of the Jewish religious New Year. It's the last day of the month of Adar, the last month of the year. The last day of the last month of the year is April 8th. That's in the daytime. But because their, their uh, day changes at nightfall, it's also at night when the sun goes down. April 8th is the first day of the new religious year, Nisan 1. It's the month. Of Passover. So April 8th is a date of transition. It's the last day of the religious year. And then uh, Rachel Baxter had, let, had shared this, that the planets lined up, not a, a planetary alignment, but as a, it's as though the planets are uh, gathering as an audience to watch the earth. The planets view from Jerusalem, looking east. To see all the planets there lined up like an audience to watch the earth. And this, this was said to happen one time in 30 million years, which, uh, of course, we don't believe that uh, time period. But just to say it is astoundingly rare, this um, kind of lineup that is happening on April 8th. The Lord is good. The place where these two eclipses cross at Little Egypt is interesting in this sense how we may look at it Egypt was a place of bondage Egypt was a place of suffering Egypt was a place where Moses told the Pharaoh let my people go that they may worship me and uh, so thinking about um, judgment coming Jeremiah 5 15 behold I am bringing against you a nation from afar O house of Israel declares the Lord it is an enduring nation it is an ancient nation a nation whose language you do not know, nor can you understand what they say. So this being an eclipse, a Jonah eclipse, thinking about judgment coming to America. In Jeremiah 5, hear this, O foolish and senseless people who have eyes but see not, who have ears but hear not. Do you not fear me, declares the Lord? Do you not tremble before me? 
Now this is, there's one rapture in all of America. And uh, this eclipse covers rapture Indiana in totality. And so we are hoping for rapture. At the same time, we prepare to suffer. Uh, our brothers and sisters around the world are already suffering greatly. And persecution, the stage is being set also in America. So we need to, while we're hoping for rapture, we need to prepare our hearts to suffer because we know the scripture says all that live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. So uh, this, uh, this rapture, I mean uh, this eclipse, according to Eclipse 2024, crosses two Jonas. Jonah, Texas, and Jonah, Oklahoma. And how many Jonas are there in, in all of America? There's two. That's very, very interesting. In all of America, there are two Jonas, and this eclipse crosses both of them. And this eclipse crosses three Ninevehs out of seven. And uh, this eclipse crosses six Joppas out of 12 in all of America. This eclipse crosses Gord, Arkansas, a community close to Dumas, Arkansas, which there's only one Gord in the entire United States. Jesus said, no sign will be given except the sign of the prophet Jonah. That is also interesting how this eclipse connects to Jonah in such an amazing way. So there are seven Ninevehs in the USA and there's 12 Joppas in the USA. Half of them are in the path of the eclipse and this, this uh, eclipse being um, crossing Rapture Indiana and this is what Rapture Indiana is just about uh, 40 or 50 miles outside the area that is uh, totality where the crisscross pattern happens. And Carolyn Watson sent me a sent a comment on a, on a video saying, back in December 2023, the Lord told me the word Nahum three times during the night. So the next morning I got my Bible, went to the book of Nahum and read it, and it's about the destruction of Nineveh. I believe this judgment is coming to America, which is going to be severe. So this is where Ninevehs are located in America, and uh, the eclipse will go through Nineveh, Texas, and through uh, Nineveh, Ohio, and and it will be to totality there, but um, these others are a couple hundred miles outside the path, so... Um, and the, and this, is, this was also interesting because the, the, uh, the website eclipse2024.org, <clears throat> for example, that shows Rapture Indiana, it gives this at the bottom saying that the, it's going to be full, but it says using the latitude and longitude noted above. And this is Delta Tav. This is two Greek letters, but it gives this number 69.18. And just uh, throw this out, strong 6918 is holy, kadosh, kadosh. So uh, that is interesting, not just from rapture, but also uh, in Jonah, also in Jonah, uh, it gives the same uh, reference number. So, um, and that Delta Tau is about the international atomic time or the exact timing. I don't necessarily understand it exactly, but I thought it was interesting that that number comes up as holy. And, you know, we're in the time of great crisis. Uh, we need to pray. We need to humble ourselves. We need to cry to God. Um, we need to warn our friends, our, our family members, our churches. It's time to for the churches to get uh, become houses of prayer. Jesus said, my house will be called the house of prayer. Isaiah 56, 7 is a good verse. 5, 6, 7. Isaiah 5, 6, 7. God wants his house to be a house of prayer. We're in a time of great crisis in the world. And uh, we need to pray. Because our God, he rules and he reigns. In World War III, yep, started children today are unprotected. We need to pray for the children. We live in a time of good is evil and evil is good. We need, we have a time when they're moving toward uh, trying to digitize uh, all the money and IDs of people so they can have more control. And all of these things are coming down. And dear friends, Jesus Christ is coming soon. And we have great hope this day. We have great hope this day that Jesus Christ is coming soon in the midst of time. So it's time to focus on Jesus and turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face and the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. 
Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face. And the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. He died for you. Dot com.